her, her, her heart right now, right now is uh, really with the victims of this. Yeah, we, we had a meeting with the mayor and, and all her staff and, and the city uh, personnel. Her, the mayor's first priority right now is to deal with the, the victims. So she's over with the victims' families, making sure they're getting the answers they need, the resources they need. This is going to be a long process for them. So the mayor uh, expressed to us in her meeting the utmost priority is, is, is the families and, 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 and dealing with them. And then she'll deal with, with the press and the public uh, after that. Of course. And Ray, I know that you're very busy, but briefly, have you guys been able to get further in the building? Have you found additional victims at this point? Uh, you, you know, dig dignity and respect is what we're trying to do here. That's why you see the tarps. That's why you see the uh, overabundance of, of, of uh, infrastructure over here to, to show respect to the people that died here, to make sure that there's uh, this scene is respectful to them, that people aren't trying to take photos where, where they shouldn't be and whatnot. So, so that, that's where we're at. It's a very somber mood here. Um, very focused uh, on doing our jobs. All right. Great. Thank you very much. I Thank appreciate you. it. Good luck today. Uh, guys, there you heard it. <coughs> uh, clearly, uh, this affecting uh, all involved out here. Uh, if you take a look over here, you heard uh, uh, Sergeant Kelly there referring to uh, the, the tarps. Those are those tents that you see over there, the row of blue tents now blocking uh, the way across 35th, 31st Avenue. Uh, that had been open all morning now is uh, covered up as the uh, coroner's vans are back there in that area, uh, presumably beginning the process of starting to uh, remove some of the uh, victims from uh, this this terrible fire and this disaster. We are expecting that the mayor is set to talk in about 50 minutes or so. Uh, we've heard that she's been talking with the families of the victims. Her heart is with those victims. Uh, we have actually seen in just the last half hour or so uh, some people coming by. Uh, putting flowers uh, here at the scene, so uh, some people are starting to filter back to this area. Uh, Frank, you were out here with me earlier. You were asking about how uh, the victims were responding. Uh, the victims clearly, uh, victims, uh, uh, friends, family, clearly uh, in a lot of anguish right now. We're trying to give them the space that they need uh, and cover this responsibly because I think that at this point we're still trying to get that information out that authorities are still looking for anybody who is missing or who's been reported missing to contact the Alameda County Sheriff's Office. If you suspect that a friend or a loved one is missing, contact the Alameda County uh, uh, Coroner's Office. That seems to be at this point the clearinghouse for information uh, to let people know if those victims made it out safely, if they were still trapped, if anybody's heard from them. Uh, so that's the continuing message that we're getting here from the uh, Sheriff's Office. And again, we're waiting uh, for more word about whether or not they've been able to uh, penetrate further into that building to start uh, the search for more bodies. As we uh, look from above, uh, from Chopper uh, 2, from you can see just uh, the, the, the level of devastation. You can see that the, the roof collapsed onto that second floor where presumably a lot of the people who were out here uh, were at the time of the fire. Uh, if they couldn't make it to the stairs, those makeshift stairs we've been hearing about, they may very well have made it into corners of that building. So at this point, uh, we assume that uh, fire officials, sheriff's officials, coroner's officials are beginning the process of making their way into that building and starting the search for more victims in this case. like from up above uh, that second floor with that makeshift staircase made out of pallets uh, having either been destroyed or heavily damaged. Uh, we understand that firefighters, sheriff's officers were actually using ladders trying to make their way up to that second floor and this again keep in mind all this was going on while there were still hot spots to try to put out so uh, it, it's been a uh, it, it's been a great deal of work out here and, and, and Frank you and I were both out here and it, you said this morning and I said at the time, you could see, and it, it didn't look that bad from the outside. You could tell that it was a, a, a very challenging scene by the demeanor of the officers and the fire officials who were here. You could tell that uh, something very significant and very tragic had happened. But from the outside, it, it just looks like a warehouse front with a little 
bit of smoke damage. So uh, clearly it's weighing heavily on uh, fire officials, weighing heavily on law enforcement.